Hi, this is Corey with another Navisworks training video. In this video I'm going to talk about navigation and some of the primary ways that I maneuver around models. So first off, I need to do some window cleanup because I'm using a small screen. So I'm going to get rid of my properties, get rid of my save viewpoints. Um, and we'll notice that we can have a plan view on our screen and that can be very helpful uh, for navigating around a project and letting us know where we are. And actually in 2013 Navisworks introduced uh, levels and grids which can also be quite helpful for navigating and keeping track of where you are located in space. So in Navisworks there are two primary ways that we navigate, or that I suggest navigating. And one is by using the simple pointer, and the other one is by using the feet. So let's start off with the pointer because I really primarily use the pointer to do just about everything in the model. Um, so the pointer works by if I zoom in with my mouse wheel, it's going to zoom in on the current face uh, closest to the camera view. So if I click on this wall, it's going to set the pivot point right here and it's going to zoom straight in on that location of that pivot point. And similarly, if I zoom out, it's going to go there. If I wanted to zoom into this corner of the building, I place my mouse over here and it's going to zoom. Now what's dangerous is if you go out here in space somewhere, now Navisworks, it's always kind of a crapshoot to see where you're going to zoom at that point. So I almost always like to zoom on the face of an object whenever possible. So the other things that we can do with the with the mouse and the pointer are I, I've already done one, which is if I press and hold the, the middle button. So on my mouse, if I press in the button, my cursor turns into this pan tool, and it just it's like I'm moving the model around with my hand, right, up and down. And then finally, I actually can spin my model simply by using the pan tool and the shift button on my keyboard. So if I hold the middle mouse button and press shift, all of a sudden I can rotate my model around the pivot point. And that pivot point is set by the same way that we were using the zoom tool. So if I want to zoom around, uh, say, the center face of this brick wall, what I do is do a single mouse wheel zoom. You know, most most on most mice you can feel a click when you zoom your wheel. If you just do that one time on that location, that's going to set a new pivot point. Then I hold the middle mouse button and shift, and I'm going to rotate right around that point. So for instance, I want to rotate right around this point. I'm going to do a single zoom, set the pivot point, and then hold shift and zoom and I can get around to the back side of my building and then pan as I need to go. So the other method is using the feet. If I click on the walk tool, oh my goodness, you need to switch back to the old version of the feet. Heck, maybe I just need to embrace the new stuff, everybody. Uh, if I click on the feet, I am going to be locked on the, the same elevation. And if I left click and hold, I walk forward. And if I move my mouse to the left, it's like I'm turning my head to the left. If I move my mouse behind me, that's like I'm taking a step backward. If I use the mouse wheel, well, in this version it does absolutely nothing. So, so what I'm going to do is switch back to the classic walk. <laughs> if I go up to options and navigation bar, I need to use my classic walk. And here's my old feet. Works the very same way. But if I now use my mouse wheel, I can. it's like I'm turning my head up and looking my head down. And the other thing that I can do is if I hold in the middle mouse button, it's like I'm riding on an elevator. I can go up and down, and then what's not it's like a special elevator because I can go to the left and the right as well. Um, and if you hold shift when you're 
when you have your feet, you actually run. So if I let go of shift, I go slow, and then I go fast. It's important to note that the farther I move my mouse, the faster I'm going to go. So I click once, and you can imagine there's an imaginary dot on the screen. And if I pull my mouse forward a little bit from that dot, it goes kind of slow. And then if I go really fast, I go way off in space. So then I get lost. And invariably, you will get lost when you're first working in Navisworks, and even when you're more experienced. That's where the view cube comes in handy. Up here in the upper right is where the default location is. If you click on the home button, that will jump you back to a home location. If you then click on another corner, it will go to that location. If I click on the top, it will look at a top-down view, and I can rotate 90 degrees. This view cube, what it's doing is going to zoom to that location for everything that's visible on the screen. So you'll find that as you work in Navisworks, we'll often be hiding things and turning things back on. This view cube works for one, whatever's selected, and two, whatever is uh, shown on the screen. If you're not selecting anything, it defaults to what's ever being shown on the screen. Um, so I'm just going to zoom back in a little bit. And there's lots of other tools that you can use here as well. Sometimes the look around is handy. If you click on your eyeball, it's like you're you can just move your mouse around and just as you're moving your you your head looking around. Now you can switch back and forth between the pointer by clicking control by t on your keyboard typing control 1 and control 2 for the feet. Otherwise you can always click at the quick access toolbar here for your pointer and your feet are down over here. If you have a different quick access toolbar up top, you might not have this uh, the feet on the quick access toolbar. So the way you do that is to go to your viewpoint, you right click on walk, and you're going to add that to your quick access toolbar. You can add anything to your quick access toolbar. So if I wanted to add this perspective, if I say add to quick access, it's going to be right up there on the top of my screen. So I think that covers some basic navigation got one more thing that I use very frequently as I'm maneuvering in Navisworks and that is selection based zooming uh, so if I, I can go zoom selected and zoom all by doing a page down or a page up so very frequently I'll be zoomed way in on something and I want to just zoom back to see the rest of the screen what I do is make sure I'm selecting nothing by hitting escape and then I hit page down on my computer, on my keyboard, and it zooms out to fit on the whole screen. Now I can also zoom in on an object, so if I click on this tree and hit page down, that zoom selected, that's going to zoom in on that tree to take up the whole screen. Zoom in on this tree, I hit page down, I can grab this, uh, this air handler here, this package unit, and kind of floating out in space. I'm digging it. This is something that we could use Navisworks for to say, hey, we got some issues here. <laughs> um, okay, so that should cover my basic navigation, and that covers, seriously, probably 95% of the maneuvering that I do in Navisworks are covered by the techniques that you've seen here in this video. So, Good luck, and it's going to take some practice. Don't get discouraged. If you do have questions, feel free to contact me. Good luck.